Hello students, welcome to Excel Academy's YouTube channel. Uh, now, this is a quiz which featured in the e-bulletin released by ICSI in the month of April. So, in this video, we will be discussing the quiz and their answers and we will have an understanding of the type of questions that might appear in the current affairs paper of the CSET exam. Now, before we proceed, let me just remind you that we are uh, extending free uh, video coaching for upcoming CSEET exams. And uh, we have uh, Alok sir, Abel sir, Vishwas sir and myself who would be handling few uh, subjects to all of you which is related to CSEET. Now you can click on the link which is there in the description and uh, start following our video lectures which is absolutely free. We have uh, uploaded videos on business communication, then legal aptitude and logical reasoning, economic and business environment as well as current affairs. Now as you are aware every day we are updating current affairs on the channel so you can follow it and prepare yourself for the exams. We also have our Android app and the description and is available uh, in the description the link of the app is available you can click and uh, get to know the information and start following us through the app as well right let us start with the uh, sample questions which featured in the e bulletin published by icsi the first question is g20 summit 2019 was held in which of the following countries this is a part of our syllabus this this comes in the current affairs syllabus so this happened in japan in a place called osaka so this is very important so g20 summit of 2019 happened in japan right next one who is the current chief minister of madhya pradesh now uh, the current chief minister of madhya pradesh is uh, Shivra, shivraj singh chauhan he is from bjp before to this it was kamal nath's government once Jyotiraditya Sindhya resigned from Congress, the government became a minority government and Kamal Nath had to resign and Shivraj Singh Chauhan became the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. The Legislative Assembly of which among the following states has been paperless? So they don't use any papers, they've gone completely digital. So which Legislative Assembly is that? It is Arunachal Pradesh, very important, one of the beautiful uh, states of the country. Uh, so the answer is Arunachal Pradesh. Who is the current speaker of Lok Sabha? See, Somnath Chatterjee was the uh, Lok Sabha speaker when we had UPA 1. Then Meera Kumar was the speaker during UPA 2. Then uh, Sumitra Mahajan was the uh, speaker during NDA 2. And now we have NDA 3 and it is uh, Om Birla. When I say NDA 2 and NDA 3 because when Vajpayee was a Prime Minister between 1999 and 2004, even that was NDA government. So I consider that as NDA 1. 2014 to 2019, Modi's first term is considered as NDA 2. And 2019 till 2024, hopefully, that becomes NDA 3. So the speaker in the Lok Sabha at present is Mr. Om Birla. India has been ranked at which position in the list of world's largest economies as per IMF data? 7th, 5th, 6th, 4th, these are the numbers given to us. The right answer is 5th. We are uh, somewhere around 2.63 trillion dollar economy and we feature in the 5th position. Which company will use ISRO's NAVIC navigation technology in its upcoming smartphones for the first time in the world? The answer is Realme. So there is nothing uh, much to explain here. It is to be known by us. That's all. The shooting and archery events of uh, Birmingham Commonwealth Games 2022 will be held in which Indian city? The answer for this is Chandigarh. The Reserve Bank of India conducted Financial Literacy Week from February 10th to 14th uh, 2020 on which of the following themes? So uh, the themes that are given here are consumer protection, farmers, micro, small and medium enterprises, uh, educate the uh, customers are the options given here. So the right answer is uh, micro, small and medium enterprises. If you have watched or if you are following our uh, uh, you know, updates on current affairs, we are covering a lot of news which is related to MSMEs because MSMEs are the drivers of the economy, especially like that of India where we have millions of MSMEs which are operating. So creating awareness, uh, strengthening them, providing their support is very, very important and RBI has also done the same job. 
which place won the best swachh iconic place award in swachh bharat mission awards we know that there is something called swachh bharat ranking that is happening cities are ranked uh, under various categories states are ranked iconic places are ranked and here it is about the iconic place the answer for this is vishnu devi temple last question in the series is who among the following conferred padma vibhushan award 2020 in the field of public affairs so this was given to arun jetli arun jetli has passed away he was our uh, finance minister during between 2014 and almost till 2018 and uh, he was one of the prominent leaders of uh, bjp uh, he was he has been in public life since his student days he was a delhi university student he was a very active member in abvp and he also uh, you know fought against the emergency uh, uh, in the country and since his students days he has been a leader unfortunately he succumbed to cancer in the year 2019 uh, and uh, this award was conferred to him in the year 2020 right so with this we come to the end of this series if you want any clarification you can leave it in the comment section if you if you want to follow our free video classes you can uh, click on the link that is given in the description and start uh, following our video lectures thank you very much